Rangers place where he fled to, but I'm pretty sure uh, because of funding or something like that, they were, they were shutting it down, it would have been lost, you know. That, but yeah, I mean, these people, I mean, the leeches in society, when you talk about benefit fraud and benefit cheats, these people I, I, royalty... I, I, think, I, think only, I think the only people, the only people lost them, Tommy, you know, and I'm, I'm not a royalist by any means, but Listen, if you're born into that and you've got that style of life, you're never going to knock it back. But it's the people who, it's the people who sort of join it, you know, embrace it, whether it be all these lords from Scotland lands that wouldn't have a Scotland and they've never been in Scotland in their life, and these people that get various knighthoods and peerships and all that, and, and they take them on, mate. You know, it's just that it's a fallacy. Fair enough, when Britain used to win the third in the world surface, when you get a knighthood, it would mean something. But, you know, you look at it, it's a puppet state, mate, you know? But we'll mm. wait and see. But, but, but non-politically, I mean, what do you make of a Celtic statement? Brilliant. For the first time, that's what I feel really good about as well. I suppose it adds it's to the good feel-good factor that finally they're, they're doing something. But is it too little too late, if I can throw it back to you? Oof. Well, seen, well obviously, I, I missed the meeting tonight, but I know there's the next meeting's pencilled in for the second of April. So I'm um, God willing I'll, I'll get along to that. I don't I don't know what, was, I'd, I'd, what was happened, do you know anything about was the reports? No, no, I've just, no, no, I've just seen a few people a couple of tweets floating about me. I have no I've no seen I've been, and then it's hopefully about as soon as they will be, as soon as the people fair twist and that and getting them out. No, Before I let you go on, if anybody's out there has been or knows anybody, then come on and say on you go. No, I mean I, I think it's a it's a very good statement. The problem for me is, is I, I, it's only really my personal view. Um, I'd love to know how long the statement was sitting there because, you know, there, there was the, um, I know you had the show today, but I, I, I missed it. I know there was some, I know the Celtic research, it said, it's on me, Paul, and I was tweeting about the, the parliamentary debate going on by the, the clueless clowns at Holyrood, but, you know, the Defensive Behaviour Act issue has been set back to September. So, I think Is Celtic, it, yeah? I, I, heard, I, I seen a wee bit on that, but I never really followed up. So, what, why, so, what so, happened? No, no, I've, I've not really dipped my toes in much, but I think there was a, I think the only, I think there was a Conservative MP, MSP, and she sort of, she sort of nailed it in the head what was going on, and people were just saying about, about the act, and I think Miss Roseanne Cunningham was going down a, a jazz style route. But for me personally, the way I see it is, if, if the act had sort of been like knocked in the head today or like they'd have said, yeah, you know, this is not the best, we're going to change it or get rid of it. Celtic wouldn't have had to put the statement out that you're looking at now. now I'm just speaking as a Celtic, as a Celtic fan. I go to games when I can, go to season ticket, luckily. Um, the lads that sit beneath me and the, the girls that sit beneath, beneath me, obviously there's been a lot going on, there's a lot of intimidation going on at the ground at the moment. Um, but it's a, a really welcome statement and it's a pretty good thing. Stay there, hold that thought and I'll phone you straight back. Hold on. Right. Sounds better now, I read it. Crack on, sounds better. No, all I was going to say is with us, I want to congratulate Celtic for the least statement because it's quite brave because although I'll, I'll bash the club um, probably more than I should. Um, so the clubs are obviously putting their head above the parapet and they're going to get very folk for all sorts. Having, I mean, I've seen certain journalists having a, a pop at it already. But for me, the problem is, is that it's maybe been put out too late. If we'd have had the opportunity a couple of years ago to put it out, we'd be in a more unified front fighting off, you know, whereas it's great and everybody can kind of think, you know, it's a good statement, there's a lot of lads who are quite negative and it's a good thing. Is it too little, too late? You know, because come September, the club's looking for season ticket money again. And um, I, know, I know there's a few lads in Twitter probably in the same mindset as myself. They're very cautious at buying into it again. You know, no, not to do with Celtic, but the fact that we have a fan base have been seated home and away. So basically, are you, are you more or less saying that they're going on a charm offensive, can we say, that Celtic, knowing that what's um, coming no, up? I think... I think Celtic had to. I, I, think, I think Celtic obviously had to come in and do something because if the act had been, if there had been moved to be in the Parliament to say, do you know what, this is not working, we're going to have to sort it out. 
they'd have got away with maybe toning one down, but the fact they've had to fire a broadside tonight to prove to the fan base. But probably a few in the camp reluctantly releasing it because it is quite controversial and it, and it goes against the grain of what they usually release. But whereas I congratulate them for having the balls to actually do it, it doesn't really do much and it's, it's still going to make me open my wallet up because that's still going to be there. But you and see, it's, it's all about two full seasons and the two full seasons will be finishing at the end of next season, is it not? So that's why... Ah, yeah, 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 the, 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 Stirling, um, the Stirling review, but we must remember, Tommy, that was, we're looking at fans now who have probably, some boys and lassies took their season ticket money back and they probably went to the darts last week at the hand they probably went to the boxing to see, uh, to see Ricky Burns at the weekend and they've sat in a, a boys' this area, they've had pints, they've been singing their wee hearts out and they've not had any people filming them. It's, for me, it's a full package now. It's a, they are paying X amount of hundred pounds in six weeks' time to pay to be sitting there and subjected to being filmed. And if the Green Brigade don't go back next year, you know this police presence isn't going to vanish overnight. This act's still in force, so they're going to be going round the ground looking for for folk to film or folk to. And don't get me wrong, if you're sitting there on a Celtic scaffold and you're watching the game, you've not got a problem, obviously. Well, you see that age, I mean, life's all about experience and, and and doing what you want to do. Now, I mean, at that age, I was going, I was basing myself in London, cutting up in London, firing up to Liverpool to go partying, coming up to see my mates in Glasgow. If we were playing the Mankey Mob, I was up for the 2-0 and the 3-0. I was up for Phil McDonald's first game. I was up the week later when we'd done the Mankey Mob, but 2-0 at their fucking run. And it was all about experience, but I never. Cro- I mean, we were at fucking war as well, I suppose, I, I, against the enemy. But it's, at that age, you just want experience. You'll pay for the buzz. You'll you'll drop on that and go for experience. For me, for me, the bigger picture is the the rest of the clubs now in Scotland come out and see similar things because you know. Do you think they will? But well, for me, I think it's very interesting the fact that um, Scottish football, when a certain team in Glasgow. Of it in this morning, you know, they had talented questions over it and how, how do we save this, how do we save that, and thinking of the jobs. If we look at it at the moment, there's probably, I'm lucky, I'm sitting out in Bristol, so I think I can walk down, but you know, there's people in Ireland and England, and probably are afraid to travel in, and what they actually bring to the economy of Scotland, whether it be through public transport, they, they, they get ferries over, bus drivers, local bars, etc., restaurants, they put a lot of money in. And the Celtic or any other club season, we'll have a thing may lose a thousand times this year, we're we'll not buying into this. So for me, if, if every Scottish Premier League club came out and said, we're not happy with this, and it's going to cost us X amount of fans, then it's, you know, Celtic's probably had to go and say, you know, we've done research and probably grab pointers and we'll be back next year. And folk have said, no, we won't be, because we refuse to be intimidated to get in to see our football team. And this isn't about old fans and we this is about what people experienced at the party Frisco game on the 1st of January, where it basically was a free-for-all, you know, and it's been admitted that the student was probably more reflective to what you get as being an away Celtic fan. And the foot sound and precious, everybody knows the, away, the, the fans that go to see Celtic away, they're a bit more boisterous, they're a wee bit more hardcore, and they're used to being a bit treated a bit worse. But when you go to Celtic Park, you expect a certain standard of policing, stewarding, and you make feel you, you want to be made feel welcome because it's our home and that's where we go and where our forefathers have went. Okay. And that's that's still been the case, mate. So it's going to be very interesting. We've got six weeks to before the season to get jam of things are starting. So see, see for me, right, the only place I would want to go and see Celtic, the new, is when they play away because. Oof. That, that oh. home ground, right? And it's a wonderful stadium and it's a many magnificent days, nights there, right? Seen them win it for the first time in 10 years. and right. But the, the bottom line is, I've, you know what I mean? Why, why would you want to go to a place where they can't even fill it now, where the people sit there who mump and moan? They're a different type of people who... You know what I mean? And you've been criminalised. Why would you want to put yourself in an environment that is hostile to the natural environs of what a Celtic fan circa the eighties, the seventies? Uh, because if you go in a away game and the atmosphere and the buzz, then 
that's you, you're dipping your toes into a wee moment of history back in the 80s or the 70s because it, that that's when you had a bit of fun and you go to your away game, you can have a wee bit of fun in a sing song think, and, and be part of I, something. I, I think, um, I think I've said it for a few weeks to the lads, I think they don't do social media up the perch apart from myself and and I sort of said to them, and, and, and we have seen that the people that sit to the left, they all be dispatched around the ground and it's empty up there, apart from a few banners. And it's financial as well, it's not just like fealty for the police or whatever. I mean, things are really tight you know, and, and football's a luxury expense for being a working class sport to being a, a luxury going to see fealty or any other team now. But I think, I mean, I've said to the lads, I went, well, you know, next season, the north stands always full, the main stands always full. I went, but the upper tiers are the two other ends. I see we may be getting part in the step. And, and, and for me, the, the way, unfortunately, the way things have happened is, and, and unless things change dramatically, you know, is, and, and obviously the club started it tonight by putting out that statement that they did, but they must be seeing that alarm bells going, they'll probably, they'll probably just have to open the bottom tier next season, mate. Here, I'll get an Armageddon for ourselves, mate. We don't get Champions League football in next season. We will never have a full stadium. And like you say, they, they, <laughs> what's the point of opening that top tier? I mean, well, they, it's, they, it's financial, mate. I mean, it's, it's a healthy safety issue. It's pointless putting. It's pointless putting. I mean, I'm seeing all these kind of stories about people, parts of the ground, there's a wee homemade suit places, and all that. People will end up with end of the hour, I've not seen them. But, you know, it's not going to be cost effective to employ three other stewards up the top tier or other bits if you don't make them. You know, when, when, the, when the club closed down next to me, and they says, well, it's financial reasons, you know, and, you know, there's only X amount of people up here, and there have been people that had been up there since 18 years ago when, you know, when they've been subbed, so it's a, it's a sad band, but it's just more than life, mate, you know. And do you think that this is possible, the reason why we sandbagged all the money in the last couple of transfer windows, because they've looked to the future and said, shit, the way it's gone here, because... It, they probably looked at the fact, well, if we ban this lot, we're going into open warfare, and the numbers are already falling, and it's an economic tough year, and we've no go these bastards here to even help sell the season tickets for us, so it's a double whammy. You're, I mean, I can, you've got to be, in a way, sympathetic I, I, I to the way not, the cookies crumble think, for the, the board, and looking at that money that they've no, banked. I think, I, think, I, think, um, I think what happened for the, the Stan Tetsworth game, God love them, proved that they could fill a stadium. You know, you know, obviously you'd have to look at the price and all that, but you know, that stadium was full that day. But then, you know, so it poses the thing because they did hint that uh, I can't, it was something that was put out for the club that, you know, I think it was recently somebody must have put that question to him in one of the meetings, you know, what about reducing it or whatever? And they said, well, you know, we have to look at the cost. It's not all about reducing. I think they gave an example of other teams, you know, they, they put the prices down and they didn't get it full. It's not all about. But it's about getting the right price and putting the right product on there. And if they've not got the right product, and they're, they're disenfranchising. Well, I've looked at a, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the Liverpool figures today. Well, yesterday, big a problem. And it was quite interesting to see that they are, they are sort of one of their main money men is on the same as Lowell. And they're that Liverpool's an English Premier League team. You know, which I found, I don't know, I mean, he's, he's, joined, he's joined that board. I mean, this is a board, this is a P and Council thing. These are the people that say that the government tax dodgers were still the same club. You know, so you don't know, mate. You don't know. But, you know, six weeks is a long time. Anything could happen. But, you know, I mean, you'd, you'd, positively speaking, you'd like to think that um, you'd like to think that things would accelerate. And the fact that failed. I mean, Eddie Toner made a great point a few weeks ago at the previous trust meeting, saying the fact that. You know, Celtic's now come out now and made this statement. Now, if, if, if it was put to other clubs, no holding, holding a gun at their head, obviously, but seeing the other clubs, listen, you know, we want to come at your ground and sing, and sing our songs, within reason, obviously. But, you know, do you support the act or no? And if clubs come out and say, do we support it? And just say, well, we won't come at your ground then. You know, and that's a hard part of the thing, mate, you know? But I mean, it was, it was refreshing, it was, I tweeted earlier, it was refreshing to see the biggest team in Scotland, right? like the biggest team in Scotland. And no but, big but team, but it's, it's, uh, we probably just put it on there, the review will not be a 20, uh, September 2015, so then it really is a case that 
shutting the door when the, the horse is bolted.